What's up guys? Just wanted to bring you another quick video while I have this engine on the stand. Um, we are going to be doing a basic leak down test. Uh, what this does is basically test uh, your cylinder integrity. Um, you know, compression test will basically show you, you know, is it holding compression? Will the motor run? Yes or no. That's basically it. A leak down test will tell you, is it holding air? Yes or no. And then where is that air escaping? Uh, it's a very vital tool. Um, you know, you could do this with the motor in the car, no problem. You could even do this in a junkyard. And I'd actually highly recommend you do that. You know, when you're going out to the scrapyard and, you know, you need a motor. You could, in theory, bring a little air compressor with you. You know, hook it up into your 12 volt out of your truck probably and run this same exact test. But anyway, this is a Honda motor. It's a, uh, it's an F20B. I acquired it last year kind of in a deal of mine. And she needs some love actually. I remember compression testing it a while ago, but to be honest with you, I think we were just rushing so fast and I think I only did like two of them and they were fine. And then I got the, got this motor into my shop last night and what do you know, the last one has 30 pounds, which is not good. The spec's like 220, 230. So real quick, I'm just going to show you how to do it. Um, basically, this is a gauge from Harbor Freight. Uh, I got it maybe five, six years ago. I lent it out to my buddy and the, the fill, you know, it'll show you, you know, like the percentage of leak. Every cylinder will have, an, will have leakage. You know, that's just how this world is. You're never going to have a perfectly sealed cylinder. And if you did have a perfectly sealed cylinder, things would probably blow out. But I mean, the gauge doesn't work, but that doesn't matter. This gauge works. All I want to do is put a little bit of air into it. So I have my air compressor. And we're just going to simply go down here. And we're just going to bring some air into this. Not crazy high. You don't want to break your arm. You bring up to about 50. That's probably even too much. But... Ready? There's your exhaust. These are the water lines. They have to be blocked off. Because if you have a bad head gasket, it will tell you. Here's the inlet for the water pump. It has to be blocked off. Here's your intake. And now we're going to just turn the crank. Let's try to seal this cylinder. Like a big wrench. I'm sorry, hold on. In line four, cylinder one, cylinder four, they go up, two and three go down. So they, top dead center is the same for both. Let's go up. Just watching my ratchet. Guys, now that's pretty much top dead center. Let's go over here. Do you hear this? Just about top dead center. Guys, you hear this? And there's also no spark plug in here. And you can feel, look at that, you feel that here? What does this tell us? This engine has a bad intake valve. Probably bent. Uh, maybe excessive carbon buildup and they can't close. Um, 
you know, but basically, I want to show you what a good one sounds like. Let's put in the second one. Watch this. See how I'm literally turning the motor? Boom. There's tension on my ratchet. The cylinder is sealed. It's not leaking out of the intake. It's not leaking out of the exhaust. It's not leaking out of the, when I get in blow by. Cylinder three is good. I'm so, I'm sorry. Cylinder two is good. We go on. Let's try to rotate the whole damn thing around. Tough one handed. Pretty cool stuff, right? Things good going up. That exhaust stroke. Go down. Bad intake though. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. I know it's a terrible video. I had some time. I just wanted to show you guys. You know, this is a simple test. You guys can all do this. It's a cheap tool. You could go on Amazon. You don't need a crazy snap on or anything. Um, you're simply just controlling the amount of air going in the cylinder. Thanks guys.